moving to the USA, especially from India, is a big decision. And you need to take care of many things before and after moving. In today's video, I will share with you 10 important things that you need to do just after moving to the USA with your family. Let me give you a quick background that uh, eight months ago, I moved to the USA with my family. And after coming here, you have to do a lot of things to get your family settled over here. The points that I'm going to tell you today are very, very essential. And the first things that you need to do after, you know, moving to the USA. So the points that I will share with you will be step by step and you have to follow each step one by one. So like one comes after the other, that is the flow according to my experience. It's a big distance from India to the USA there are few things that you also need to do back in your country in India before coming here I have another video which I will link in the description box below and also above in that I button there which tells you about what are the things you need to do in India for a smooth life in America so you can check that video just after watching this one as I mentioned about the last video where I have talked about what are the things you have to do in India uh, before coming to the USA I just want to add another point before leaving from there arrange a transportation service till your destination from the airport for example we were coming to New Jersey and we selected JF Kennedy Airport which is in New York and we had to travel from New York to uh, New Jersey for that you can pre-arrange your travel you can pre-book a taxi you can talk to a friend who is here or you can take help of others and then book a taxi otherwise if you do it on the spot it will be very very expensive for example when we came here eight months ago we had to pay something around uh, two to three hundred dollars uh, for our travel from JF Kennedy Airport which is in New York to New Jersey where we were staying at that time to our hotel so uh, yeah, if you are coming for a job, most of the time uh, it's covered by your company. However, it will charge you even more if you don't pre-book that and if you think that you will, you know, come here and then book at the airport, that will be more expensive. Okay, so let's start with the 10 essential things that you need to do after reaching America from India. First, it's very important to stay connected with your loved ones. As soon as you reach uh, America at the airport, try to take a SIM card at the airport itself. When you land in America, at the airport, you will find stores that sell SIM cards. Sometimes you will also get vending machines where you can get SIM cards from. But I would suggest don't take the SIM card from that vending machine. Otherwise, you won't be able to know whether it is compatible with your handphone or not. Rather, I would suggest go to the stores and check whether those SIM cards work on your phone or not. In my last video, I have also mentioned that it is very important to carry a phone along with you, a mobile phone, which works in USA because the frequency does not always match with the phones which we use back in India. So most of the companies which work in USA is Apple, Samsung, Motorola. So these are the few mobile brands which work in USA. For example, if you are using something like MI, Oppo uh, kind of mobile phones in India, uh, try not to bring them here because that won't work and initially you have to buy a handphone here so you know on a price point when we come here i know electronic is a little less cost over here but when we are just arriving here we cannot just wait to go and buy a mobile phone and then use it so it is my recommendation that when you come from india to usa buy a mobile phone which has a 5g connection option and it is among samsung or motorola or apple i will link few of the mobile phones which are available in india and works really well in usa uh, in the description box below you can check that out later you can opt for companies like t-mobile at&t and mint there are other providers as well you can check at the airport the next step is to reach to our hotel so once you get into your hotel and you get settled over there make sure that you download and print your i-94 it is very very essential to keep that document handy along with you till the time you get your ssn card the I-94 is your proof for work permit in the USA till the time your SSN is processed. Take rest for the day, you will be dealing with a lot of jet lag and your family too. It takes a couple of days to get accustomed with this day and night difference and mitigating that jet lag. So it's very important that you take some rest and the next day you can proceed with renting your house. For that, you have to visit the renting office for the apartment you have chosen. Every housing society has a renting office. You have to visit them because you have to sign the documents. Before taking the keys, you can view the house. Third reason to visit the renting office is that you have to arrange for money order uh, or bank checks for uh, renting the apartment now here is a point that you have to pay the renting office through a bank check or through a money order or a draft 
the thing is once you reach here on the second or third day you won't have your bank account you won't have all these things along with you what you need to do is take help from a friend who can help you for paying these you know bills for you for the initial days because they are already staying here they have a bank account and they can give you those bank checks for the payment of your apartment so this is what we did and i'm just explaining my experience here the next point is home insurance here for renting every apartment you have to take a home insurance during signing up for your apartment lease you have to also sign up for a property insurance so in america for property insurance and car insurance you can choose one vendor if you are considering the same insurance provider for your home and your car then your premiums or the monthly charges that you have to pay is lesser when compared to choosing two vendors so it is always a better idea that you choose one vendor which gives you a good rate for uh, home insurance as well as car insurance however even if you are confused and you think that okay let me choose the property insurance first for the car insurance i will find it out later or i will go with another vendor that is also possible and you can change uh, your insurance provider later on as well Once you are done with signing your house lease and signing up for your home insurance it is time to apply for Wi-Fi and electricity connection even before you move to your apartment you can apply for Wi-Fi and electricity electricity is already available in your apartment but what happens is it's a name change process you have to you know convert the electricity bill into your name for that they will require your leasing document your house insurance document and stuff like that and for wifi there is a specific provider and everybody has a wifi connection in their home so when you apply when you call them you can get the number of your wifi service provider from the leasing office itself you can call them and say that this is my unit number this and that and they will provide you with the wifi connection i think you have to visit them once to collect the cables and stuff like that along with that you have to buy the router so there are actually two options either you can rent it uh, from the provider itself or you can buy it all by yourself so once you buy that one you have no obligation today you don't like this wifi connection you can switch to others or for example if you are moving states you don't have to think about that you have to stick with this service provider your router is yours and you are free to you know change your wifi service provider any point of time but if you are you know renting or taking that uh, router from them from the service providers then you have to be particular there is something like a 2 years lease or something like that which you have to sign so we decided to buy our router because we don't want to sign any kind of you know agreement with the service provider and stuff like that if you want to buy your own router then i will link that product in the description box below so that it's easier for you to find it out Moving to the next point the most important thing you have to do after coming to America from India is to open a bank account so this is after like 3 to 4 days of reaching here In America the most preferred banks are Bank of America and Chase which is by JP Morgan. However if you have any other selection for uh, banks then you can select that. I would prefer that the day you come here on that particular day you take online appointment. So then what happens is the process becomes easier and quicker. In that way you will get an appointment to your nearest uh, branch of the bank. So when you visit the bank you have to take all the important documents that you have along with you. You will need your leasing document document you will need your passport visa and all those important documents you have to open a checking account and a savings account with your bank you have to also apply for your credit card on the same day to open your bank account for savings and check in you will need around 500 dollars so carry that cash along with you i think this is with bank of america i'm not sure about how much money you will need uh, to open a bank account with chase moving to our seventh point that is applying for your ssn that is social security number for this also you have to take online appointment and it is always a good thing to take all these online appointments once you reach america so once you reach here you apply and take online appointment it will take some time around 4 to 5 days uh, when you get your actual appointment if you come to america and the next day you go to the ssa office they will not accept they will not process your ssn because they say that the i94 is still not available with them till the fifth day of your stay in usa so once you are here for 4 days on the fifth day go to the ssa office that is social security administration office which is nearest to you either you can take online appointment or check if there is walk in available or not 
So again, you have to carry all your essential documents along with you to the SSA office and the officer over there will proceed with all the documents and proceed with the process of your social security number. After the process is done, on the same day, they will give you a receipt which you need to keep with yourself. Later, your social security number or the card will come to your home through post. Next step is to visit your local post office to get access to your mailbox. As I told you, your social security card will come to your home through mail so you have to get access to your mailbox here in america you have to visit your local post office who will give you the keys for your mailbox you will not get it from the leasing office you have to go to the local post office and then apply over there with your renting or leasing document when you submit your leasing document over there they will process your document and take around 25 dollars and give you the keys for that in that way you get the access of your mailbox and you will receive all your mails in your mailbox next very important thing that you need to do after moving to the usa is to apply for driving license you have to book an online appointment with your nearest motor vehicle office and then visit there for your first six pointers and then there are process which is followed so there are two steps in uh, getting your driving license one is a written test the second is a road test i will get in details about how to get your driving license what are the preparations what you should do to get it faster in my next video so again if you haven't subscribed to my channel subscribe right now so that you get all the latest notification of these important topics as soon as i post a video so till now you have done a lot of work now the last step is to find a school near you if you have a child you have to process their school admission as soon as possible so i have a video about the process of uh, school admission what are the documents and stuff like that i will also link that in the description but first of all you have to take an online appointment for this every state has their own website for public school admission like for all the public school in that state there is a particular website you will get to know about all these things once you reach here you have some friends or acquaintances or colleagues nearby and you can get help from them that what is the website or you, you can just check on the internet that for example if you are moving to New Jersey what is that website which provides all the details about school admission so there is an online form first of all which you have to fill up online so many documents you have to upload there scan and upload those documents over there and once the process is complete your nearest school will approach you so here you don't select a school the school will select you on the basis of your or area pin code so these were the 10 essential things that you have to do just after moving to the usa from india if you have any other question or if you want to add some more points to it let me know in the description box below i'll be really happy to help you see you in my next video till then take care and bye bye